instead of doing a Monday night live stream, I think I'm going to show you this video here, what I've been doing to make the uh, garage a little bit cooler and keep some of the attic heat out of there. So here we go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovacek and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And today I'm outside because it's really nice. I think we're going to rest the rest the rest of the day because for the last two days I've been working in the garage. Yesterday it was rainy and today it cleared up. But I uh, was working on the outside and you'll see what I was doing. I had to run a vent from the attic to the outside to take some of the heat out of the garage because when I was working up in the ceiling I could feel all the heat that was coming out of the attic so <laughs> that was the last straw right there so here we go it's time to do some work on the inside because I don't know if you could hear it but it's raining I'm working on uh, making a adapter plate so I could put the round adapter over here I'll screw that in over top I'll take that vent out of there and screw that piece of plywood on there so I could put the round piece in there and <laughs> it's really coming down right now that's what it looks like outside it's coming down pretty good So today becomes an inside day and I picked up a couple of more lights we went back to uh, Lowe's and picked up actually these things were like three three dollars and something and then I picked up a couple of more now these are a different brand par 30 lamps that's a 75 watt right there that's more like looks like more like a floodlight and this one does over there. I got those at Home Depot and those are more rounded. So they're both 75 watts. They're both daylight. So they put out some pretty good light. I have to cut up there. I cut a piece right there and right there. But I have that Dremel thing that only goes by one buys. So I'm, we're going to have to go to Harbor Freight. And I'm going to have to get me a circular saw so I can get the rest of the way through that. I might be able to get by with that one piece of plywood right there. Because this snaps together. And wouldn't you know it when I try to show you. I can't get it to snap together. But anyway, this might be a little bit deeper. Or deeper than, uh, oops, there we go. So that fits in right there. So I might need two pieces of plywood there. So I might have to put a piece, another piece of plywood up behind there just to get the proper thickness on there. And this is the only thing I could find. It was like 26 bucks at Lowe's. I wanted an octagonal one, but they, all they had was a 24 inch one and that was way too big for what I wanted. I only have a 10 inch duct right here. So this is 15 inches across, 11 inches right here. So that works out perfect. And right now I'm cutting the circle right here. I got it halfway through. I have to turn this around so I can get the other half. So I can get my adapter in there. Got one adapter finished. And that's going to go on the inside through the attic on the attic side. And then I'll have to make up another one for on the outside. And then I have to uh, cut a square hole for the louvers. And then run the duct. And I still have to go and get some straps to hold it up along the, uh, the ridge of the roof. But for now, it's still raining. I think you could hear it out there. Let's see. 
it's still coming down pretty good. Yep. Still coming down pretty good out there. And I still have to make it hard for freight and Debbie wants to go to Walmart. All model railroaders know the feeling that while you have your bench work and you're building your bench work, that becomes your workbench before it becomes the supports and the tabletop for your layout. We all know that and sometimes we keep our tools on the layout way too long. Well, hopefully it quits raining by tomorrow because I got this far right here. Well, that piece is a little warped. This I this was outside for I don't know how long. And I had this over top of where they dug up the sewer, so <laughs> it warped a little bit. So um, I got my heavy toolbox on it. Hopefully it will straighten out. If it doesn't, I'll have to use something else. But anyway, I got that far. That's another piece of that same piece of plywood. I got it all the way across. I got four straps on it so far. I put one more strap on it up in that area. So I got it marked. All I have to do is cut it out, put that piece on the inside, and put a piece on the outside. So, not too much more to do. I got this cut to the length that I'll need it, and I'll put one more strap up there. And I'm using that, that right there. I got 25 foot of it, and it was just enough. And I got the outside flange ready. And this thing right here was a bear to put on because there was no support on the back. I mean, I had to put these strips on this side just to get the other side on. And then I had to move it on this side here on the inside because there's two slots in here and I wasn't able to get it in the second slot for a thinner wall. So I moved this thing back to space it out. And now I have to put this on, but then I have to put spacers in here. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna put these up here. But uh, this is what I got here. And I'm getting ready to put this thing up here. Almost finished, got the uh, Staple gun loaded up and ready to go up on top and do the last part. And I got to put one more strap in there and I got some strapping right here. So that's the last piece of strap that I got to put up in there. So I'm almost finished. And that'll cut out a lot of heat that's been coming out of the vent from the attic. When I was working up here, I could feel the heat just blowing out of here. I don't know why they designed it like this. That'll give us a nice breeze going through, all the way through to the other side of the attic with this right here. And that'll keep it nice and insulated as an R, I think that's an R5 or an R6. That'll keep it a little bit cooler in here in the summertime. And then all I'll have to do is come off of here someplace and bring some air in. Well, it's a nice sunny day today. Yesterday it was rainy. I had to cut out a bush right here to get my ladder up there. But here's what gave me all the problems right there. That thing right there was a bear. It went together easily by hand when I had it in my hand but as soon as I put it up in the wall it just gave me all kind of fits. I spent about two hours trying to get that thing in there. It just kept on popping out. It wouldn't go in all the way but finally got it. Now it's time to do some yard work. 
I cut out some ugly bushes over here. I'm finished! Finally! So here's what it looks like. There's the attic end. Got my straps in there. And there's the outside end. The only thing I gotta do now is cut some insulation to put along this wall right here. I'm gonna put the pink foam up in that. And that will be it. So since I'm not having a live stream tonight, I still gotta have a rant. And this phone just sucks. <laughs> now, I think I told you about uh, the last time on my live stream how this thing wouldn't work on the charger, you know, that you sit in the van, you know, it sits in the, on, on the charging pad in the van. Well, I, you know, I, I, I've tried everything I could, and we had it in there the other day, and Debbie says it sounds like a heart monitor because it was going beep, 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 because it was turning on, turning off, turning on, turning off at that rate the whole time. So I just ended up turning it over. And then I have some footage right at the end here that frustrated me because it started recording upside down. So, until the next time, we'll see ya. And all I have to do is... Well, that piece is a little warped. This, I, this was outside for I don't know how long. And I had this over top of where they dug up the sewer, so... But anyway, I got that far. That's another piece of that same piece of plywood. I got it. I got the hole. Let me see if we can get this a little bit lighter. Okay. I can't change. Let me, let me change the brightness. There we go. All right, now, I got the, it changed again. Why don't you stay the same? I got it marked up there, right around in there, to cut. And it keep, oh, shit. <laughs> ah, this thing is not cooperating. All right, so. And it just did it again. Oh, jeez.